guys and welcome back to the channel and if you're new my name's Erica and I am an adult collector. Today we're going to be opening up some things to add to my adult doll collection like this made to move basketball player. Now I've had these things for quite a while and I'm just so excited to open them up. With all the changes going on I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to plan out my videos like I wanted to. So I thought let's open them and just have some fun. So we have her and she's supposed to be a little bit taller than the normal made to move dolls. So I'm going to check her out and see compared to this baseball player I have here. I also wanted to open a few accessories. So we have this little blind accessory pack um, and some clothing. So we have some skirts. Now I believe these came from Walmart. We have a red one. And these came from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. So we have Wonder Woman. And then we have this one. Really, really pretty. And the last thing I wanted to open in this video is a little Christmas pajama outfit. And it comes with a little dog. So I think that would be really cute for the holidays. So let's go ahead and open our Made to Move doll first and take a look at her. Okay guys, so now that she's out of the box, you can see that height difference. And I absolutely love this doll. I love that she's taller than all my other Made to Move dolls. And I love her outfit. Now I did go ahead and untuck the shirt. It was tucked in in the box, but I prefer it untucked. Also on the back of the shirt, you can see that it does Velcro all the way down, making it easy for you to remove her outfit. You can also remove her shorts. They are just um, elastic shorts. And it feels like real basketball material, like basketball shorts. So that's really nice. She does come with pink shoes as well. And like all made-to-move dolls, she is fully articulated, which is really nice. So she also came with an accessory, which is her basketball. And it does have a little spot on it so she can hold it. And it just says Barbie with the Barbie logo. So that's really nice that they included that. Now we're going to move on to some of the accessories. That way we can try her in different outfits as well. So we're going to start with the Barbie blind box and see what we have. I love these. They're only like 97 cents at Walmart, but they're really fun to open because you just never know what you're going to get inside. So we have our checklist and these are wave two, I believe, of the blind bags. And it looks like we have a duplicate. So we have a little clear bracelet. It's really hard to see. I apologize. And we have a shirt. Now, I have already got this shirt, but I do love getting clothes in these because they're only 97 cents. So that's a really good deal for a top and a bracelet. So I will go ahead and set that aside. Now I'm going to move on to all the single packs. I'm going to open all of them, and I'll be right back to show you what they look like. So I went ahead and opened up all the packs other than the Christmas one. I do want to save that one for the end of the video. So we have our red skirt and this one's completely elastic. So there is no Velcro and it does have like a silkier material in the back. And then we have this Batgirl shirt and it has like a little opening. I got this one at Dollar Tree. And then we got this at Dollar Tree as well. This is a Wonder Woman top and it does Velcro in the back. Also that Batgirl one does Velcro as well. And then this skirt, it looked really short in the um, box, but it's actually a high-low skirt, which is really cool. And it's fully elastic. And then of course I have this one that we got in the little um, blind box. So let me know which outfits you think I'm going to put on these girls. I'm going to go get them dressed, both of them, only using what I showed you guys and show you what I come up with out of just those outfits. Okay guys, so keep in mind, I didn't have much to work with here. I think I did okay. My favorite has to be the crop top with the jeans that she already had on. I think it goes together. I would actually keep that on her. Um, now, as for this outfit, it is fun, it is colorful, but I don't think it suits her. Maybe on a curvy doll, it would fit a little bit better and wouldn't be so loose. But I do really like the pieces individually. 
Now, initially, I thought these two would be cute together, so I am going to try that um, here in just a second, but I think I'm going to try this one on a different doll and just post it on Instagram for you guys, or at the end of the video. So, now I'm going to go ahead and open up this set. It actually comes with a little puppy as well, and I'm going to try it on our new doll and see if it fits her well since she is tall. And I think I'll go ahead and try that on her as well. So I'll be right back for the last time and we'll see what they look like. And here are the final looks. So as you can tell, the skirt just doesn't work that well. And that's okay. I think I have a few other dolls that it might look a little bit better on. But as for the Christmas outfit, I absolutely love it. And it does fit her pretty nicely. Um, it is not too short or anything. It is a little bit tight, but it's not too tight that you can tell that it's way too small for her. So I am glad that it fit her. And there's the little puppy. I love that they included that. So I'm probably going to take a few pictures of these girls. So if you want to check out my Instagram, at Little Crafty Kitty, there you will see a bunch of photos. And I'm going to try to take a few for the end of the video if you want to stick around and see those. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. I think mine has to be the Christmas outfit. And that is it for today's video. Don't forget that the FTC still wants to hear our voice. They gave us till December 9th, so please go leave your comment. I'm going to have their website linked below, and I'll see you soon with another video.